Tucker. We're at DSC 2013 and trying something new this year. We're going to do some video blogging. What I'm interested in talking about today is Android devices. Three years ago when I was here, there was one little company somewhere from Taiwan that had a device that was running on Android. Kind of interesting, but they were literally working out of a phone booth on the show floor. Last year, there were two companies, both Canadian companies, that had Android devices. So it started to get interesting. This year, there's a whole pile of them, and the capabilities of the devices are getting a lot more interesting. So what we're going to do is wander around to a few booths and talk to the people about what they're doing. You guys were the first, I would say, big company, well-established company, mm -hmm. somebody had actually heard about right. that went to Android. So can you tell me what you're doing with it and kind of where things are at? Yeah, uh, last year at this show, we introduced our new Android media player. And uh, since that time, we've released it and done a few projects and got some recognition. We won two awards here at the show. This year, we're showing uh, portrait presentations, video in the window, touch interactivity, uh, and keep driving that uh, every ounce of resource we can get out of an Android box. So the, the chattering class out there would say that, yeah, it's cheaper, but you're making compromises left and right, that it's, it's just not the same as a PC, and uh, you're just taking a big risk. Well, um, yeah, I, I know that's what they're saying, but we've got the features for feature for feature, our new against our Windows based platform. It's got all the remote triggering, the command and control, the intelligent content playback, uh, the things that really make deploying a digital signage solution run by itself and uh, respond to its environment and not require you to micromanage every message that's going on the screen. I'm here with uh, Craig Martin from Reality Interactive. What you got? <laughs> okay, so we've got an Android-based signage system that we think is the antidote for a lot of these over-complex, overpriced uh, systems that we see out in the marketplace. So if you're just doing stills and video, and you don't need the ticker on the bottom, and you don't need the CNN split screen type of thing, you can use a $125 player and our software as a service model, and there's a, it's a web-based, cloud-based uh, content management system, which will allow you to create playlists, establish a, a library of content, and push that down quickly and easily to devices in the field. Android is kind of a new thing in digital science this year, and the reason being is we used to do a lot of work on uh, Linux-based uh, media players, but it's uh, proprietary. Your uh, software is proprietary. You have to spend a lot of resources to develop it and maintain it. Android, you don't have to worry about the platform, you only worry about the application part and much easier and it's a standard. And if you develop a software based on Android, it can run on any hardware, uh, Android based hardware. So it's, it's much uh, more uh, available. So as you see from the side, it has a Ethernet jack, which a lot of the uh, devices on the field today do not have, which is required by most people. Inside is 16 gig uh, storage, uh, hard drive storage. There's a uh, dual core 1.6 gigahertz ARM chip inside of it, a quad core GPU. It plays back native 1080p video, 1080p flash, 1080p HTML5. Everything's hardware accelerated. So, so for people who aren't overly technical, you when you're saying quad core, you're talking smoking fast, uh, fastest smartphones out there, that sort of thing. Blazing fast quad core, yes, Blazing absolutely. Fast. What some of the argument against Android has been, these are cheap boxes, uh, and you can't just operate on price because they're going to break down, you've compromised the playback, you've compromised the product. So what's your counter argument to that? You have two kinds of Android players. You have most of the Android players you would find on the market are uh, web-based. They use a browser to play back content, which is very bad in terms of quality and uh, there is a big lack of control and monitoring. We did develop a real player like, a Windows, li like our Windows player. So it's a real player with a service, with a watchdog, and Android is, uh, is very stable. Uh, in terms of hardware, um, it's a bit more complicated because if you buy Android uh, mini PC from China, 50% of what you would get uh, are fakes. And uh, they, they, um, they copycat themselves and they do fakes and so it's difficult. So the most difficult part was to find an hardware that was industrial grade uh, in some way. And uh, so we had to work with the Chinese, we had to select, compare, assess uh, multiple systems in China. And uh, we eventually found uh, a partner that can provide a reliable products. 
Uh, so it's all about uh, the time you spend uh, to, uh, to find the right partners in terms of hardware. But with Android, the quality is the same as uh, PCs. The functionalities are the same. So is, is this just a, like a small percentage of the marketplace going forward that are going to use Android, or is this kind of where things are going? Well, I think when we can demonstrate that the features and the reliability of the platform, I think people are going to be hard-pressed not to really consider deploying Android. The price point's that compelling. And uh, the amount of different hardware that's coming out as a package, the screens with integrated players, it's a very compelling presentation right now. Yeah, somebody is starting to associate Android uh, with substandard functionality. Yeah. You know, cheap. That's what they're thinking. Well, we came with a very cost uh, uh, competitive product, but it's fully featured. And I've heard some people say fully featured, but when we say fully featured, it means a lot more. So it's full 1080p video, hardware accelerated flash, HTML5, all the same functionality we have, conditional playback, triggers, everything's in there, everything's yeah. included. So that's really what makes it different. So You can kind of tell that this is not a fad. This is not something that some people are trying and maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Uh, Android truly seems like it's here to stay, and the biggest reason, very simply, is cost. And these guys, some of the, particularly the more senior companies, they, they're beating the hell out of these things to, to ensure that if, they're, you, if you're going to have a cheap and cheerful media player device, it's actually a really good device. So, personally, anybody who's sticking with just x86 PCs for their digital science platforms, I, I'd be nervous, but time will tell.